So the starters all as finals the next and it's the hurdle variety first. And I think it's two and a half miles. Let's take a look, two and a half miles and naught to one sixty, which I always think is a bit of a problem because they're normally low grade races throughout the season and King of Spades for Ryan Tamasebi is the top one. La Paz, Moose, Vinnie, Gerard, McLaren, Paul Rhodes, Parabolica for Paul Rhodes, Cudley, Cord, Graham, Clutterbuck, Norcroft, Mountain and Jay's Doll Store for James Shea, Jenny Jingle and Albadora Casbar for Thomas Rogers, Little Dean Guidance for James Shea, Clifton Hassel for Ryan Costello has also got Chalk Morning and Estelina Cabs and Sayashan Value, Estelina Cabs for James Shea, Sayashan Value for Ryan Costello. So 14 then in the final in the rain, and away they go. A little Dean Guidance is going to be the first one to show from Parabolica, the grey in second. As the rain continues to fall, they get over the first, and they're all safely over that one with La Paz Moose just a little bit slow towards the back. But little Dean Guidance is clear in front from Norcroft Mountain in second, then Sayashan Valley and McLaren as they get to the second of the 12th and over that one they all go and racing away then down towards the third and over that one they go I think this is the final hurdle race of the season so Little Dean Guidance then is in front and clear by about six or seven lengths as they come to take this pretty sharp bend with Jay's Doll Stall in second and then Cuddly Cord in third, McLaren is fourth, and then Sayashan Value and Parabolica and Norcroft Mountain and Estelina Cabs and then Jenny Jingle and Chalk Morning and King of Spades as they get over the fourth. And they're all over the fourth, okay. Clifton Hassel just about the back marker. And Little Bean Guidance is in front. Well, Jay's Doll Stall is about seven lengths back in second, and McLaren and Cuddly Cord. Great Parabolica and Norcroft Mountain on its outside. And Estelina Cabs and Sayashan Value. Quite a lot in the same colours here. There's about five or six of them in the green with the maroon cap. And Ryan Costello's got three as well as they get over number five. And a little Dean Guidance is clear in front. On McLaren second. They get over the sixth. And all safely over flight number six. Racing up past the stand, then there they go past the chair and now past the water, well, the winning post and the water jump shortly. And then out for one more circuit, the final circuit of the season over a hurdles track. And Little Dean Guidance is the leader from McLaren in second, Jay's Doll Stall third, Parabolica fourth, then Norcroft Mountain five, and Estelina Cabs is six, and then Cuddly Cord seven, and then Sayashan Value and King of Spades. He really sticks out, doesn't he, King of Spades, in that red jacket or everything else. Apart from him, has got at least some form of green. So, Little Dean Guidance is clear in front from McLaren in second. And then Jay's Doll Stall in third. With Parabolica fourth. And Norcroft Mountain and Cuddly Cord. And King of Spades and Sayashan Value. With Albadora Casbar, La Paz Moose. Clifton Hassel, Chalk Morning, and finally Jenny Jingle, the back mark, then as they race into the final mile and over the seventh flight they go. And over that one then, it's Little Dean Guidance has led all the way so far. And clear by three lengths to Jay's Doll Stool, or may or may not be a stable companion as they get over number eight. And they're all safely over that one. Then McLaren and Parabolica. Cuddly Cord, Norcroft Mountain now coming around the outside and then Estelina Cabs, they get over flight number nine and they're all safely over that one, just three more to take then now and Little Ding Guidance is swinging around this turn making his way towards home with a lead of a couple of lengths from McLaren who's got his foot down in second then comes Jay's Doll Stall in third, Norcroft Mountain is fourth, Parabolic after that then Cuddly Cord running on, Estelina Cabs is next and a gap back to King of Spades on the rail over the third from home they go and after King of Spades is Clifton Hassel trying to get into it, Albadora Casbar trying to switch around the outside, but Little Dean Guidance is still clear and clear by five. Then racing now into the straight with two to jump, and it's S it's Little Little Dean Guidance in the lead from Jay's Doll Stall in second. McLaren is third, Parabolica, Estelina Cabs, and Norcroft Mountain. King of Spades is now trying to burst through the pack there, coming right around the outside. Albadora Casbar and Clifton Hassel are coming with a good looking run as well as they're into the final two fillers over the second last they go. Parabolica and Jay's Doll Stall, Jay's Doll Stall and McLaren is. 
McLaren on the inside. Jay's Don Storm there is to us. Escalina comes. Little Lynn Gardens is beating and beating the retreat over the final flight. They go. It's Jay's Don Storm in front from Parabolica and McLaren. And Escalina comes back racing up towards the line now. And it's Jay's Don Storm who's clear by three. And Jay's Don Storm is going to take the starters' orders. Third or final, Jay's Doll Stall is the winner. It's going to be close for second. Estelina Cubs and Parabolic, and then the Lean Gardens and McLaren and King of Spades, and all the way back to Sanchean. Value was less. And Jay's Doll Stall takes it pretty comfortably from Estelina Cubs second. So that could be a 1 2 for James Shea, I think. Parabolic was third. And also in the same colours as the winner may well have come fourth and let's take a look at it it is indeed a James Shea three in the first five and Paul Rose two so James Dong still takes it for James Shea Estelina Caps for James Shea second Parabolica Paul Rhodes third Little Dean Guidance for James Shea again was fourth and McLaren for Paul Rhodes was fifth so next next season it'll be the James Shea Paul Rhodes starters orders final